Hi guys, I'm back. Hi guys, I'm back. Hi guys, I'm back. What up, internet family? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a hot minute. My last video that I uploaded was me letting you guys know that I moved into my own place and I'm just so humbled by your sweet comments, your good luck wishes. Oh, I'm, I like I really don't even have the words. Thank you guys for all the love that you showed me on the video, on my um, Instagram, everywhere. You guys even asked for my registry and have been sending me gifts. Like I don't even have the words to say how grateful I am to all of you. I just love you guys so much. Shout out to all of my vecinas who sent me a housewarming gift. I can't even believe you guys had the nerve to ask me for my registry and I wasn't gonna share it with you all because I didn't want you guys to feel inclined like you had to get me something but so many of you were like no we want to get you something we want to get you something so uh, I shared the registry and you guys every single day since I moved I've been getting a package and I just don't even have the words to say how grateful I am but I hope that you enjoy the little gift that I am sending you all as a thank you which should be arriving in the mail in a few days anyways if you're not subscribed to my channel, you need to subscribe because I took a little hiatus, but your girl is back, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I blow out my naturally curly hair at home. You know, typically I like to go to the Dominican salon because it takes a long time to straighten all this hair, okay? But I wanted to show you guys for maybe those of you that are on a budget or maybe those of you that just wanna learn how to blow out your own hair at home, I wanted to show you guys how I do it. So this is probably not my best blow out because girl, it's Thanksgiving today and I'm already running late but you know I had to put in a little work since you guys have been requesting this video so I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions for me please leave them down below if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure that you subscribe so you can be part of our internet family you could be a prima or you could even be a vecina okay so anyways thank you guys for all the love I hope you guys had an amazing Thanksgiving with your loved ones I cannot wait to eat that big dude and some burger and and girl, some coquito. Anyways, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And let me stop blabbing, cause girl, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> okay, so you already know I had to have a little sip of my Bustelo to get me through this hair straightening session because I forgot how long my hair was. It's gotten pretty long, this took me a while. So of course you wanna un untangle your hair, make sure you don't have any knots, and then you wanna go ahead and apply a leave-in cream. I absolutely love Alterna hair products when I'm straightening my hair. I love their caviar. CC cream, this one is for extra hold. For If you have thick hair, this would be great. It's their 10-in-1 cream, and I love it because it delivers 10 benefits in one easy step. So it's gonna make your hair smooth, shiny, it's gonna make it soft, it's gonna add UV protection. Um, it's also going to be great if you're applying heat to your hair. I absolutely love this styling product. Then I like to add, this is actually new, this is my first time trying this. This is the Main Magic by Eva NYC. It's their 10-in-1 primer. You just can't go wrong with adding more protection to your hair, but this is my absolute favorite product from Eva NYC. It's their Speed It Up Blow Dry Spray. This stuff, I don't know what they put in here. Yo no sé, sinceramente, but this stuff is bomb. So I spray this on my hair and I swear to God, it speeds up my blow dry time. The type of blow dryer that I use is actually one from John Frieda. I've been having this for a few years now. I just like how lightweight it is. You can get this at the drugstore. I also use a John Frieda blow drying brush. If you want a lot of volume in your hair, you want to use a big barrel brush. And then what you want to do is you just want to start off in small sections with wet hair, of course, after you applied all of your heat protecting products and your priming products. You want to wrap the hair around the barrel brush and you just want to pull the hair obviously don't pull your hair out but then you also want to apply direct heat to it the key to a smooth blowout with curly or natural hair is to really stretch the hair on the actual brush and then apply that direct heat to it and you want to do this in short little sections so obviously i start at the root first and then i work my way down and then especially when you get to the tips you want to be gentle um but you also want to make sure that you're rolling that brush so that you can get the kinks out and really straighten that hair. Please, please do not ever blow dry your hair without this nozzle attachment. You can really fry your hair if you do so. Um, practice makes perfect. I've been blowing out my hair on my own for years. I typically rather go to a salon because of the time, but practice makes perfect. I've been doing this for years and that's why I got the hang of it. 
If you try to use a round brush and you still feel like you're struggling, you can try the paddle brush blowout. This is a great blowout technique for beginners. You can go ahead and use your favorite paddle brush, use the blow dryer, apply heat to it, and just brush out the hair while applying heat. I really don't like personally this method just because I feel like it does leave my hair frizzy even though you can obviously remove the frizz when you go over it with the straightener but I just personally prefer the brush with the blower because I like the volume and the bounce that it gives my hair. So as you can see the side that I blew out with the brush is way more softer, silkier, it has a little bit of bounce to it whereas the side that I blew out with the paddle brush is kind of frizzy so that's why I prefer using the brush. So once again you want to start in small sections and make sure that you apply your blow dry spray or your heat protectant whatever it is to your hair and start in small sections. I was really trying it as you can see because I was really trying to speed up this blow dry because it was Thanksgiving and I was trying to do it in big sections. I kind of wish that I would have taken my time a little bit more because I would have had a smoother blowout but I was in a rush. But like I said, take my advice and just start in small sections, I promise you. Um, yes, it might take you longer, but your hair will be smoother. By the way, the settings on my blow dryer are on high, just in case you're wondering. For this reason, I use a bunch of heat protectants, and I also have a special routine that I do when I go from straight back to curly. I do have an older video on it and I will link it down below so that you can check it out. If you notice that your hair is dry by the time you get to that section, don't be afraid to re-wet it. You want to make sure that the hair is wet when you are blowing it out so that you do not get any frizz. And by the way, this here is one of my favorite little techniques when blowing out your hair. You just want to keep going up and down the hair. You don't want to spend too much time on one specific area applying too much heat. And you want to make sure that you are rolling that brush to get that nice volume and a little bit of bounce in your hair. So as you can see, when I rolled out the brush towards the end of my hair, I kind of spinned it so that I can get a little bit of a wave. And I love doing this because even when I have my hair straight, I do enjoy a wave or some type of volume in my hair. I do not like pin straight hair. So this is my little technique in order to get that little bit of volume and body in my hair. Okay, so I know the top of the head is always the hardest. Pause. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, Lord have mercy. Okay, so when you get to the top of your hair, um, you just wanna blow dry the hair um, down. I feel like this technique kinda works better for me. Um, it's just easy. <laughs> Yo, I can't even, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Anyways. You guys just saw what I just did. At this point, I was kind of getting delirious, so I just quickly brought out that top part because I knew that I was gonna go back in to refresh the hair anyways and make sure I didn't have any frizz. So I'm just brushing it out, making sure I don't have any knots, and now I'm about to perfect it. So, Alterna, I told you guys, love their stuff. This is their Caviar Anti-Aging Perfect Iron Spray. This protects your hair up to 475 degrees, I believe. It's either 450 or 475. I love this spray so much. So here is another John Frieda product. Um, this is their curling iron and this is one of those straighteners that I got in the mall from one of those people that stop you to strain your hair. So I'm gonna show you guys the two ways that I basically go back in and touch up the hair. So I'll take the curling iron, I'll put that on the roots just to smooth the roots out if I have any frizz there. And I'm going to take the hair and wrap it around um, the barrel for a few seconds just so I can get a nice loose kind of curl in the hair and so that it is not pin straight because I do not like pin straight hair. So after I let go of the curl I just hold it in my hand until it cools down and then I go ahead and pin that and on this side of my hair I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I straighten it. Like I said I don't really like to I don't really like pin straight hair so this is just for demonstration purposes by the way this flat iron is so freaking old it's at least 10 years old because i got this like when i was a freshman in college crazy <laughs> I will 
typically pin curl my whole entire head, but I did not have any pinchos. I didn't have any bobby pins, couldn't find them in my new apartment. So I was just kind of pinning what I could. I think I had like two bobby pins and that's what all I was using. But as you can see, I was just going in at the root mostly with the flat iron and then I was curling the ends with the curling iron. By the way, I enjoy straightening my hair. I typically like to straighten it in the winter time because I feel like that's when I can get more um, days out of it. I don't like to straighten my hair in the summer. It is way too hot for all of that. But I love my curly hair just as much as I love my straight hair. My curly hair is definitely more me, but it's always fun to see how long my hair has grown and to rock it straight. I feel just as beautiful with my curly hair as I do with my straight hair. Here's another way to curl your hair using flat iron. Put the hair in it, flip the flat iron, and just pull the hair through and it gives you a nice curl. Like I said, I would typically pin curl my whole entire head to get more volume, but your girl ain't got no pinchos. <laughs> We're not gonna do this today because I gotta film this video. We gotta go stop. Stop it right now.